Hello friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be finding out how things are made on TikTok. Y'all ever wondered how they film some scenes in the movies? Like in Pirates of the Caribbean, there's this one scene. Wait a second, rewind it. How did he push that boat into the water? Oh, do you see the shadows right there? Watch this. You do hue saturation and then you're gonna edit it to the greens. Saturation all the way up. Oh, there they are. The invisible green men have appeared. This whole time they were helping him push it. You know, the invisible green men do a lot of cool things in movies. They hold things up, make things float. You just don't see them, but you can see their shadow. You know, it takes an invisible green man to know an invisible green man. I have seen this so many times. You know, no matter how many times I watch this, it still kind of upsets me. Like, they're not bricks into the wall. It is just a stucco wall, but carved to look like it's stone. You have been lied to your entire life. Somebody literally comes in manually carves to make it look like stone. Nah, I will have none of this. She went grocery shopping in Germany. I cannot believe all the cool things that they got there. Like, look, you want fresh squeezed orange juice? There is literally a machine. You push down on the lever like it's a soft serve ice cream machine and wham, bam, you got fresh orange juice, ma'am. Why can't we have that? Is it that much trouble? You can even get fresh pomegranate juice. You know, the most delicious of juices, by the way. Oh, but this one is the best one. Pineapples. You want some fresh cut up pineapples? They have a whole entire machine dedicated to that. You can pick if you want rings or if you want chunks. So you take a whole fresh pineapple and you can watch it right now. Literally skinned the watermelon. Goes through this little device. Gonna drop it right there. Fresh pineapple cubes. Not Whole Foods charging me $10 for a little container. Pre-chopped pineapple chunks that have been sitting there for the past two days. Look at the prices. Everything is so dirt cheap. America could never. Like literally everywhere else, fresh produce is so cheap. Apparently America doesn't want you to eat healthy. Eating healthy is for the rich. Okay, I'm sharing this for the people that have big trucks or people that just want their car to look more put together. This is this is magical. Look at that. Whoa, is that all it takes? If your tires are looking old and crusty, you just take a white marker and paint over the numbers and then it looks brand spanking new. Now, I don't know how many of y'all have trucks like one of these trucks, but you know, gotta keep them looking good, making your Amazon deliveries. How do they make soap? Take a bunch of soap crumbs into a mixture. I can't tell if it's strawberry scented syrup or some Powerade. You know, I bet you could pour some Powerade in there. Have some Powerade scented soap. Okay, take all the crumbs, put them through the processor. This is a mess. Okay, go down and now we're shredding this. Now I feel like there needs to be something that just like presses it all together, makes it into a mold. Triple roll mill. This makes sure all the ingredients are like mixed together and easier to work with. All right, I feel like I'm on a very long ride. You know, I feel like all of these processes are just to make sure that the soap and whatever red stuff they poured into it is like mixed perfectly. They're gonna cut it now. Looks like a very long starburst. Are you sure we're still making soap? Why is it shaped like that? I have never seen a bar of soap shaped like that. Oh, it's making a stamp. I'm guessing that's the logo on the soap. We just completely skipped the part where y'all put it in the mold. It's going too fast. I can't see what's going on. That looks like pink starburst. Yeah, I feel like they skipped a few steps. Like, is there something you don't want me to see in your little soap factory? What secrets are you hiding? How you go from a long piece of soap to somehow putting it into a mold and then it gets stamped with the logo. Oh, so I'm guessing the long pieces are actually like way bigger than I thought. And they go into the mold, get stamped, and then it gets chopped up into like four pieces of soap. Ah, oh, okay. And there we go. They don't want to show the rest because I feel like it's top secret or something I'm not allowed to watch. So they're just not going to show me. How does it get packaged? Y'all are gatekeeping at this point. This is how they make gum. Sugar syrup, that is a lot of sugar. Mint powder, some glycerin. Oh, chlorophyll, that makes it healthy. It has a natural green color. Yeah, this is definitely not how they make it in America. America has a whole lot of sugar and chemicals. So mix all that together, it makes this gorgeous green paste. Oh, it looks like dough. Let it rest. And you have these big chunks of dough. Also, that powdery stuff on top is sugar. They just like manually rub it all over the gum dough. Yeah, it's sugar powder. You know, I thought it was like some starch or something. Flatten it into a giant piece of gum. And now it's cutting time. So to get the right shape, they make all these little squares and then fold it and then put it in the fridge for 48 hours. That is a lot of sheets of gum. This is a whole process. Now it's coating time. Oh, so it's not done. So you just dump it into these little mixers and they just go round and round. Put some kind of water in it. Oh, now it's 
it's looking more like gum. Whoa. And then some coating. I think that's what makes it like really shiny. Sort it through the machine. Oh, they're kicking all the short guys out. That's discrimination. Sorry, buddy, you don't make the cut. So the machines do the rest. That is the freshest gum I have ever seen. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like when I buy gum at the store, it's just been sitting there on the shelf for like months. And this whole time I thought he was saying like, oh, this is the freshest gum you can buy. No, it's literally called fresh. Okay, well now you know how gum is made. Good, because I didn't know either. How to make spaghetti. Faucet dispenses dry spaghetti and once it hits the plate, it becomes spaghetti. Simple. You know, I wish it was this simple to make spaghetti. Not all of us have a spaghetti dispensing faucet. Ooh, I have found some top secret footage of the M&M factory. You know, I never thought they would show me how it's made, but there it is, the big old chocolate mixer. What is that? Is that the coating that goes on top? It kind of looks like dirt. I know it's cocoa. Oh, and then these giant mixers spit out white M&Ms. Surprise, surprise. You know, it doesn't matter what color you are. Under the rainbow, all the M&Ms are actually white. So then they take a white M&M and then put them in a different colored container and then it mixes the individual colors. Okay, see, I want to see that. Y'all just cut to the making of the M&Ms just being mixed. That was satisfying. Seeing all of them being packaged up into there, cut the long packet tube into individual pieces. I hate how they don't show me everything. Like these factories are so secretive. Like I'm gonna buy all the ingredients and then start my own M&M factory after watching this video. And then you guys are gonna go out of business. Why are you gatekeeping? Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, never mind. no, that's peanut M&Ms. Are those nuts? See, I thought they were just orange M&Ms. No, they're peanuts. Stop playing the same clip of the mini M&Ms we get it. The mini M&Ms are gorgeous, but they've had enough screen time. I want to see how everything else is made. Goodness gracious, these videos are so unsatisfying. Like, I just want to see more. I want to learn more about the world. You guys aren't letting me. Like, what are you hiding? All the chemicals you put in your foods? Let's see those. Y'all ever wonder how they make wild rice? You know, I always thought the little grains of rice come from the plant, like just straight up. No, it's like a whole entire process. So that's the rice and he's like roasting it. Wait, I thought I cook it. So the rice that you buy in the store is already cooked and then you cook it again? That looks nothing like rice. Look how it looks like, hey, my guy, how are you turning sticks into rice? Put on some moccasins and then what, stomp on it like it's some grapes? Oh, yup, come on, smush it up. So you're breaking it into smaller and smaller pieces? Oh, do a little Jig while you at it. <laughs> Little dancey dance. When does it start to look like rice? I'm trusting in the process so hard. Oh, okay. He's making wild rice, which is the darker one. It's not white rice. This is a lot of work. Oh, there we go. Now it's looking more like rice. Wow, there it is. That is very, very, very interesting. Yeah, you start out with a boat full of sticks, and at the end, a bucket full of wild rice. Wow. You know, usually the wild rice that you get in the store is like the mixed one like three different types of wild rice. This is the manual way to make rice. And the grains of rice you buy in the store are a lot more perfect looking because I'm assuming a machine does all this manual labor. This dude did it by himself, so it's not gonna look perfect. Probably tastes amazing though. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which one of these was the coolest one. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodie shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.